Hi guys and welcome back to Make Up My World. Today I'm going to show you how I'm currently washing my brushes. This is a part of doing makeup that I least love to do, so I've experimented over the years to see what methods give me the cleanest brushes in the shortest amount of time. So let's get washing. To begin, you'll need to collect up all of your dirty brushes. As you can see, I've piled up quite a collection to wash. I really like to wash my brushes in the bathroom so that I have access to running water. You might want to wear a pair of gloves so that your hands are protected throughout the washing process. To wash my brushes, I use a cleanser called Castile Soap. The one that I use is made by a company called Ology, and Ology has two different scents, lavender and peppermint. They're both great cleansers, and it's really up to you what scent you prefer. I love the peppermint. The bottle of soap is 32 ounces and costs just over $10 at your local Walgreens, so it's really a bargain for the amount of soap that you get. To make it a bit easier, I put the cleanser into a soap dispenser. I got this one at Target for $10, and the pump makes it super easy to apply directly to brushes when they're really dirty. Also, keeping the soap on the sink reminds me to clean my brushes more often. Castile soap is a gentle and moisturizing soap and it's perfect for use when you're deep cleaning your brushes as well as conditioning them. From my experience, the formula can take on the deepest foundations and the tackiest lip products. For spot cleaning and disinfecting the handles of my brushes, I use a product called Perry and Spirit. This is a strong cleanser that is great when you want to spot clean your brushes. Just use this product really sparingly because it can break down the glue that holds your brush bristles together over time. Make sure not to get this product anywhere near your ferrules, which is the metal bit that connects your bristles to your brush handle. To wash my brushes, I take a small, shallow container and add about 4-5 to five pumps of Castile soap and top it off with some water. I usually put in enough water to submerge the bristles but not the ferrule. I allow a couple of brushes to sit in the solution for a few seconds and then I take each one out and use my palm as a washboard. I rub the brush against my hand in back and forth and circular motions to make sure that I get the cleanser into the bristles and to make sure that the makeup and grime come away from the brush hairs. Make sure to be careful about pointing your brushes bristles down so that the water doesn't collect in the ferrule of your brushes. This can do a lot of damage and if you are you know, buying expensive brushes and really investing in them, you don't want to damage them by simply cleaning them. After a good lather, it's time to rinse. You want to make sure to move the bristles around and check in between to make sure that all of the built up makeup is gone. If you still see some residue, repeat the process. If the brush looks nice and clean, rinse it well and then squeeze out any excess water. It also helps to gently towel off any water before laying the brush flat to dry. Because this is a fluffier blush brush, I used a brush guard to help keep the bristles in shape. It's basically a plastic netting that compresses the brush so that the bristles don't go every which way while drying. I picked up a pack of these at Walmart for less than $2. So you're just going to go ahead and repeat this process with every brush. I usually take a few brushes and just let them sit in the solution while I'm cleaning other ones. It just helps the process to go a little bit faster and lets the Castile soap start soaking in and getting some of that makeup off of the brushes ahead of time. You do want to deep clean your brushes on a regular basis. I do it at least once a week if I can. If I use really bright colors or something that I think is going to stain my brushes, I will wash them right after I use them. But for the most part, I spot clean after every makeup application and deep clean at least once a week. It helps the brushes stay in better shape. It just, you know, helps to prolong their life. And you really don't want to be putting dirty makeup brushes against your skin. It can just, it can ruin your skin that way. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this process until all of my brushes are done. With every few brushes, I go ahead and lay them down on a table that I've lined with a bath towel. And this just helps to make sure that the water travels away from the ferrule. It is best if you can dry your brushes with the bristles pointing down, you know, have them vertically straight up and down. But in this case, I'm washing a great number of brushes, so I want to make sure that I have enough drying space for all of them. 
Last but not least, I'm going to wash my beauty blender. I store it in this little plastic cup on my makeup table and I'm just going to use that cup to actually wash it. I add Castile soap in, add a little bit of water and then I squeeze a dry beauty blender into the water so that it absorbs all of the soap and the water into the sponge. I don't want to pre-wet the sponge because I want everything that it absorbs to be soap and water and really get that deep into the sponge. And then I usually just squeeze and massage the solution into the beauty blender. The great thing about using the Castile soap to wash the beauty blender is that although it gets real deep in and creates a beautiful sud and it gets all of the product out, it also washes away and rinses away really clean. I've used Dawn dish soap before to clean my beauty blenders. I've used beauty blender soap to clean it and nothing gets it as clean as the Castile soap. I can go in and wash it literally in under a minute and rinse it and be ready to use it. So I wash my beauty blender every single day because my foundation is extremely dark and it can tend to stain a beauty blender. But as you can see, after a few seconds of massaging in the Castile soap and rinsing it off, my beauty blender is completely clean. Now for the long part of cleaning your brushes, just letting them sit there and dry. As you can see, washing your brushes isn't very complicated. It's actually pretty fast and easy once you figure out the best products to use. Using the Castile soap has been a game changer for me and it's cut my cleaning time in half. Like I said before, you really want to deep clean at least once a week and spot clean every time you use your brushes. You really start to notice how much nicer your makeup goes on with a clean brush and even though you may not want to do it, you'll find yourself cleaning your brushes more often. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you're just stopping by, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to be notified when new videos go up. As always, please be kind to one another and kind to your brushes and don't ever be afraid to be your perfectly imperfect you. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. Click on the video above to get another glimpse into my world. Don't forget to visit my website MakeUpMyWorld.com for more details on me and the products used today. Also be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My details are below. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.